lot of people have asked, well not a lot, maybe one or two. In my world that's a lot. So anyhow, um, how do I get the leaf loader onto the trailer? The time has come, the leaves came down all at one time, so I don't have time to build a new one, which I'll probably do that this weekend. But just to get this going, I saved the old one. Good thing I didn't throw it away, because this was a... Figure it out as I go. Literally, with a tape measure, going up here, cutting pieces, just winging it, just putting my knowledge in. You know, notching wood, making it more structural with sound, which I'll get into that and show that. Now, I used a nail gun and nailed it on here. This whole setup, I'm going to have to redo it and make it new. It's getting close to its last leg, you know. It only lasts a few years. The weather tears up, even though I've painted it. But um, So I'm going to attach this on here so it will not move or come off. Now, one of the things I've come up with, this is all wood, this is not metal, so this is all on-the-fly technology. Or ingenuity or engineering. I guess they call it backwoods engineering. So this is the bottom piece that actually clamps it on because I just used what I had. I must have thrown away the piece that was here because I couldn't find it, so I had some scrap wood laying around. That's why I never throw wood away. I mean, stuff like these are cutoffs that somebody had, and I was supposed to trash them out. I'm like, why? That right there is probably $3 worth of wood. The wood's going up and up and up is what's going on in the world. So, anyway, that piece works fine. The nails are holding for now, just enough to get me going. This notch is right under here, and this is the back piece that I use basically brace it on there. Oh my gosh, this wasn't far enough back without putting a piece of wood to this. So I've been there, how does it work? Ah, this is for the um, billy goat. This piece actually stops the billy goat from going too far in. That's what this is for, that didn't make any sense. Then I have another tool that I use to get the billy goat on is one of these. This is a new one that I got. I have a family member who uses those things, so I got one. Um, that's the reason why I know about them. So, um, but it's basically an engine lift. It's a bed lift. I have the other one in there, which is the old one. And I'll show you that because it works perfectly. You can store your equipment away. So I have to cut the nails off of this because the old one. They cut these nails off from last time. So. didn't get that waka waka waka. Alright. Now, how did I do this? Oh, that's what the nails are for. That holds it on here. That held it on here. Okay. And uh to center it, let's see here. Uh, what I'll do is save myself some cut. Tools. So, this is the, believe it or not, this is the one tool that got me on the buying my old one. I found this one. It didn't have a battery. So I went and I found batteries at Home Depot for like two for $59 on clearance. And I, 
this thing had as much power, if not more power, than my DeWalt. That was basically professional. So I said, shit, what have I been missing? So I decided to find them all. I don't even use my DeWalt stuff anymore. Except for the chop saw. That kind of partially did out. That's fine. regular wood screw. This is an outdoor screw. It's different from a drywall screw. The drywall screws are black and these are gray or green. see here this wood is old so I'm worried about it splitting I should drill holes here first before I put this in there I'm probably gonna do it just so I don't split the wood but it'll hold it see now I get that one in there and then this lines up with the other piece goes right there and then I just screw that to that this is was just a guide and it broke I had a guide here as you can see it's split just so it lines up the other piece which goes onto the billy goat this is the backer so all this wood has to be replaced this is old I'm going to have to screw and nail this in tonight to make it secure. But as you can see, all this goes down there like that. And then this piece. There you go. goes under just like that. Now, what I'm going to do with the next one is I'm going to actually take this piece and put it either on the angle or bring it right here so it goes straight down. It doesn't have to necessarily be all the way out here. It'll just it'll be just as strong I'm hoping so get a little bit more turn but it doesn't matter it's really not necessary so there you go well, and the other thing this is the time of the year to go buy tools for your stuff I mean you may get this stuff as a Christmas gift but all these little kits like this that you'll find at the stores like Gunsmith Ho and Lowe's um, find a lot of these little packets you can get all kinds of drill bits and believe it or not I lose on maybe even two but I lose on one I'm not too surprised I haven't even used this this is from last year so plastic smells brand new
All right, so this is done. Um, little lawnmower car load blog here. Some of the things that I'm doing. Got a lot of projects working right now, so I'm gonna bring you a lot of content. Um, also, I added this little brace right here. Just pinched it up against here. I, I didn't even cut this wood. It was the right size. And that is a weird thing about a lot of this stuff. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of wood I didn't cut. I just slapped it up there and it fit. I, I've gotten pieces of metal. Believe it or not, a bed frame. A metal bed frame fits perfectly up there. I never planned it. And believe it or not, a lot of your bed posts will fit back here. I've actually used a bed post before to hold almost of my smaller trailers to hold the back up. Um, what a, a headboard, a head bed post, a headboard. And um, so basically, yeah, that piece just fit. That's amazing. That's so cool. And if you saw me cut it, I didn't even measure it. Just snap, snap, boom. So this piece is, there was actually a screw down here. I went and screwed it in. As you can see, this wood is old. So I'm going to redo it. And I'm sure I'm not going to, but I need to replace all the stuff. So this is actually a guard off of a light, uh, neon lights. And I thought the material looked cool, so I didn't throw it away. And I was going to use it around the sides. Kind of has a Star Wars -y feel to it. Kind of like Stormtroopers. I don't know. That's the way my brain works. But uh, so it actually looks cool. Almost like a vent. And that does absolutely nothing. It just it just fills the void in from the, where the screen doesn't cover. But it worked. So, but looking at it, I mean, it could be functional. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, so if you see some, I look back at my old stuff. I've done a lot of fixing to this trailer on my own. And uh, this is gonna be the next one, the bed lift of getting the range fried. So getting the uh, billy goat on there. So the leaf loader on here with one of those. Now I already have it in there. And if I can find the footage, but it's on my Google files and I broke my phone and I couldn't find the stuff. So it's there somewhere, but I just can't get to it. And um, but anyway, I'll actually have to show the, the video when I actually made this. So um, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Uh, if this helps somebody out, great. If not, great. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing this for my own shits and giggles, tell you the truth, but it's just fun. So, maybe I can pass something on. You know, never know. We're all in this boat together. <laughs>